everyone, it's Mike from Woody's RV. Today I'm going to take you on one of our most versatile trailers that we have in our inventory. It's made by Grand Design and it's called an Imagine 24 MPR. What the MPR stands for is multi-purpose room. And I'm going to show you how versatile this is. If you're looking in the market for a toy hauler, for a couple's trailer, for a bunk room trailer, this trailer might be the one for you. So let me take you through. Before I take you into all the amazing storage compartments that this unit has, let me tell you a little bit about the specs. It's called a 24 MPR, but the actual length of this is under 30 feet from tip to hitch. So this unit measures 29 feet, 11 inches from the tip of the hitch to the tip of the rear bumper. From a weight point of view, when you're towing, this is 6,300 pounds UVW or dry weight, and the gross vehicle weight is 9,300 pounds. The total cargo carrying capacity of this toy hauler slash bunk room slash couples trailer is 3,000 pounds. So starting off right here in the front storage, it's a full pass through, it's all finished off. And this has our utility center. It has a full outside uh, shower, which has hot and cold water. We have a battery disconnect. If you're gonna go boondocking, we can actually hook you up to your city water at your house, change it from city water to fresh tank fill, and you can fill your fresh tank right from here. Also comes with its 30 amp power cable. I'll take it to the back. Now we're at the back of the toy hauler and what I want to do is show you, unlike a lot of trailer people do, is how easy it is for one person to open the doors of this toy hauler. Simply lifting the lever, turning it, and this is light enough for one person to bring down to do the door. It's just as simple to take up as well. Okay, so now we're in the multi-purpose room, also known as the toy hauler, whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, this unit has 10 tie-downs on the floor if you want to bring in your bicycles, your motorbike, a ATV, anything like that you can tie it in. And this is how much space you would have. It even has its own separate entrance, so if this is used as a bunk room or a separate bedroom, they have their way of getting in and out of the trailer. So on this side, which is really smart how they've done this, they've actually set this up so that you can have a single bunk, two single bunks, a queen bed, or a queen bed and a single bunk above it. If you have anything that you brought with you for your toys, take it out. So let me show you how that works as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to just do the upper bunk. There's two levers, pull one here, one here. Just click it back, pull the ladder out, and just bring it down. This comes down and stays. There's two buttons that push. There's your single bunk. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to do two single bunks. Lower one, just reach under, release, and pull. Lower bunk bed, upper bunk bed. Now I'm going to show you just how to do the lower queen bed. Release the lever underneath, lift this up, and pull it over. Legs will come down by themselves. And here's your queen bed. Now, if you want to put the upper bunk bed down at the same time, you just have to release that reliever again. Bring this down. Okay, now I'm going to show how everything goes back up. Release these two. Head will lift up. The ladder is going to come across. Clip it and pull down the lever. Upper's done. Simply lift the queen bed. Give it a little nudge in the middle. Comes down and it's in place. And it will hook in. Okay, oh. a few more great features of this garage slash bedroom area. This garage actually has two full air conditioning vents coming into it for the summertime. It also has a full uh, heat vent cutting in for uh, the fall seasons. Um, if the kids are bunking in here, they have their own sink to brush their teeth. There's still some storage here as well, all the way through, including there as well. Plus, there's also privacy glass sliding door. Keep a little bit of sound out and give you a little bit of privacy. Now that we've come into the trailer, I need to show you how much storage they actually put into this small trailer. So starting by the fridge, it's a full size eight cubic foot fridge. Then we have a pantry right beside it with big cubbies. We have drawers, 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 
really unique at all the grand designs. They also put a big pot drawer under every stove so you can do your big pots for spaghetti or whatever. There's overhead cabinets, obviously. And then the big cabinets underneath a giant farm style stainless steel sink. And there's even a grate on top as well for drying or uses more counter space. I'm gonna take you into the bathroom because this bathroom is amazing for the size and how much storage they've actually put into this. So you just look through here. First thing they did is they have the overhead cabinets. Below the sink, they figured out how to do one big one plus two more small shelves plus the cubbies all the way up for toilet paper and towels. There's hanging racks for towels. There's even more hooks for towels. In addition to the air conditioning vent in the bathroom, heating vent in the bathroom, and its own fan as well. The shower has its own skylight. I'm not that tall, but somebody that's well over six feet tall would fit in the shower no problem. Another really unique feature of this um, Murphy bed system. So Grand Design always puts a 60 by 80 Murphy bed into this. In addition to that, the amount of storage they put all the way around, I need to show you this. So you have wardrobes on either side with drawers and drawers and the cabinets, nightstands with more drawers underneath the Murphy bed. And then the same set of storage on the other side as well. So if it's been raining and you've been uh, outside and you need to come in and you have your sofa set up here, you can come in and sit down. The TV is sitting right facing me. I've got an armrest, I got cup holders, and now I have my sofa. Now, if I want to switch this over to the 60 by 80 full-size residential queen, I simply put the armrest back up. I roll this back down. There's one little lever I pull. That brings down the floor of the bed. And then I simply pull the mattress down and out of its folder. This is a full 60 by 80 queen bed. There's enough room for all the pillows when the Murphy bed is in the up position. They now have the cubbies on either side with USB ports and full power. And our lights are for reading, off, or just mood lighting, depending on how you want to do it. There's also mood lighting up here as well, which has its own separate button. Very easy and simple. It's five seconds either way, up or down. All right, so a few more features about this. So when you need a little bit more counter space, this does have the countertop extension, which just releases and comes down. When you want to sit down in your sofa and have a uh, bite to eat, there's an arm for the table. It just fits right in here, it slides into place like that. Take the table, screw it on the top. Now you have your table and you can actually spin it to, to sit inside. No. 